So this is future Keith coming to you. I forgot to make a intro. I already got a bunch of work done over here. In the last video, you saw me rebuilding this wall. And uh, immediately after that, the next day or so, I got started building the bathroom. Uh, that's what this next video you're about to watch is gonna be about. And that'll probably take several videos to finish, but um, I believe in the first video you'll get to see the bulk of the uh, framing and stuff going on, get the idea of what's going on. Um, if you didn't watch that last video, go back and watch it. And uh, leave me a comment down below, tell me what you think. Don't give me too many technical details because I'm using a lot of used lumber and I'm adapting to an old barn and I'm just trying to get a potty room. Back in the barn, I think it's day four of this uh, bathroom build. I got the floor framed out yesterday. Uh, and I had it temporarily down, but I had to pull it up. I gotta dig a uh, trench from a water line. I wanna bury it. I'll probably fix it so that I'll always be able to drain it during the winter time, but uh, just in case, I'm gonna bury it. At least, at least a foot deep, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to dig this trench, uh, put a pipe down in there, and then at a later date, uh, I'm going to have to do a little more digging right here for the uh, commode, the drain. I don't have all that figured out in my head just yet. So for now, I'm going to dig the trench, put the pipe in, lay the floor down, then I can start building some walls. It's a little dark in here this morning. I got my generator running. I got an LED light over there. But it's a little dark for the camera, I think. Anyway, I, I dug a trench here. I'm going to bury some uh, half inch PVC for a water line for the sink and the commode. And uh, then I'll be able to put my floor down, get started building the room.
So I got my trench dug for the uh, water line. It's not connected to anything. Eventually, I'll run a trench into the barn and connect the water line right there. Probably go out underneath the barn and put a faucet outside. Um, this will be my supply line going to my vanity. And then later, I'll run a tee off of that and have a supply for the commode. This is all going downhill so that in the winter time, uh, I'll be able to drain out under the barn. For another day. <clears throat> uh, in the last couple of days, I got this foundation built. I also dug a trench right here and got my water line set. I uh, still need to get it into the barn or run it from here out the barn. And I also got this back wall put up. Today, I think I'm going to try to get this wall done. And then I may start digging the trench to get the water line out of the barn. We'll just have to see how it goes. So in this clip, I already have my studs cut and just standing in place waiting to be nailed. The lighting is off in here, but I just thought I'd show a little progress report. I got this wall on the right put up today, and uh, the last video you saw, I was putting up that wall on the left. That's the wall of the barn, but it's going to be one of the walls of the bathroom. And then in the back, I got a, a new wall put up, <clears throat> and, uh, and then I got the flooring done. Now, this is four by eight so it'll be a four by eight sheet of subflooring and uh two things i'll point out one is the um, plumbing you can see it running on the left side there um, the one at the top of the screen is going to be for the sink and then i'll tee off of that and go to the commode this one down here is strictly temporary it's just sticking up until i get the line run into the barn, connect to that, and then also go out the barn to the left and put a faucet in. Right here, one other thing I want to point out is you'll notice I set this wall on the edge. That's not normally how you do it, but I did not want the wall to interfere with the sheet of plywood. I wanted to be able to go ahead and build the wall, uh, but I have to finish my plumbing I've still got to do the uh, the commode drain and, and all that plumbing going underneath. And I need to be able to work in there. But I wanted to go ahead and frame this up. Uh, I need to frame up the front wall here. Well, and I, I need to acquire a door and then I can frame the front wall. This morning I'm trying to tie up a few loose ends on framing. A lot of times when you frame... Uh, a wall, especially if you frame it and stand it up, I guess, you can 
get everything you need in that wall and where you need it, but sometimes you just get the basic studs up and then you come back and finish up whatever it is you need, whether it be a window or a door or, in this case, <clears throat> I'm gonna put some extra blocking right here so that we'll have a place to install the sheetrock. And I'll show you what I mean. After I get the floor down, I'm gonna build the wall on top of the uh, subflooring, like I should have done here, but I was trying to get the wall up, so I didn't, but anyway, I'm gonna put the subflooring down. Then I'm gonna build a wall right here that has the door in it. And that wall, the wall frame will be right here. It'll be, I'll nail it into this. The problem is when I build a wall here, there won't be any place when my sheetrock is coming this way, there won't be any place for the sheetrock to nail to. It'll be void, vacant. So what I'm going to do is put spacer here and then I've got another stud cut and I'll put that there, put another spacer up top. Then when I build my wall, I still have an inch or more over here to attach my sheetrock to. So I have to do that here and in the back, let's see. And then in the back, there's another spot right here. Where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put another stud, put that stud up there, give me a nailer, and then the same thing over here on the front wall where the this wall will be, I'm going to put that right there, and then that will take care of all the places I need to put sheetrock. over here I really enjoy being out here on this property doing these projects and I enjoy filming them and putting them out on YouTube if you enjoy watching them let me know please consider subscribing thanks for watching That little pig. That'll do.